In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. I welcome you to the celebration of the Eucharist, the first Sunday of Lent. We began last Wednesday the season of Lent, a time of repentance, almsgiving, a time where we remember that the service of God is more important than the service of ourselves. God has blessed us and has given us the strength to serve others. And this is what we're going to pray during this Mass, to be able to fight temptation in our lives, to be able to fight the temptation to serve ourselves, but also fight the temptation of sin. So as we begin this time of worship, thank you for joining us. Thank you for praying with us on behalf of FRG Ministry. We're grateful that you have been able to join us to pray. Our ministry partners, thank you for making this possible. I'm offering Mass for you, for your intentions, all of you, um, especially those who have left their intentions through social media and through our prayer request website. So as we begin this time of worship, let's ask God for mercy to be able to stand against the sin that is brought about by the evil one. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, through the yearly observance of Holy Lent, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. First reading. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 26, verses 4 to 10. Moses said to the people, The priest shall take the pannier from your hand and lay it before the altar of the Lord your God. Then, in the sight of the Lord your God, you must make this pronouncement. My father was wandering an Amarian. He went down into Egypt to find refuge there, few in numbers, but there he became a nation great, mighty, and strong. The Egyptians ill-treated us. They gave us no peace and inflicted harsh slavery on us. But we called on the Lord, the God of our fathers. The Lord heard our voice and saw our misery, our toil and our oppression. And the Lord brought us out of Egypt with mighty hand and outstretched arm. With great terror and with signs and wonders, he brought us here and gave us this land a land where milk and honey flow. Here then I bring the first fruits of the produce of the soil that you, the Lord, have given me. You must then lay them before the Lord your God and bow down in the sight of the Lord your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response will be, Be with me, Lord, when I am in trouble. Be, be with, with me, me, Lord, when, when I am in, in trouble. trouble. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides in the shade of the Almighty says to the Lord, my refuge, my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. Your response? Be, Be with, with me, Lord, Lord when, I, when am I am in trouble. Upon you no evil shall fall, no plague approach where you dwell. For you has he commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. Your response? Be, Be with me, Lord, Lord when, when I, am I am in trouble. They shall bear upon their hands, lest you strike your foot against a stone. On the lion and the ripper you will tread, and trample the young lion and the dragon. Your response? Be, Be with, with me, Lord, Lord when, when I am in trouble. His love he, he set on me, so I will rescue him. Protect him, for he knows my name. When he calls, I shall answer. I am with you. I will save him in distress and give him glory. Your response? Be, Be with me, Lord, Lord, when I am in trouble. Second reading. A reading from the book of Romans, chapter 10, verses 8 to 13. Scripture says, The word, that is the faith we proclaim, 
is very near to you. It is in on your lips and in your heart. If your lips confess that Jesus is Lord and if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. By believing from the heart, you are made righteous. By confessing with your lips, you are saved. When scripture says, those who believe in him will have no cause for shame, it makes no distinction between Jews and Greek. All belong to the same Lord, which is rich enough. However, many ask his help. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. No one lives on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit through the wilderness, being tempted there by the devil for 40 days. During that time, he ate nothing, and at the end he was hungry. Then the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to turn into a loaf. But Jesus replied, Scripture says, Man does not live on bread alone. Then leading him to a height, the devil showed him in a moment of time all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I give you all this power and all the glory of these kingdoms, for it has been committed to me, and I give it to anyone I choose. Worship me then, and it shall be yours. But Jesus answered, the scripture says, you must worship the Lord your God and serve him alone. Then he led him to Jerusalem and made him stand on the parapet of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down from there, for the scripture says he will put his angels in charge of you to guard you. And again, they will hold you up in their hands in case you hurt your foot against the stone. But Jesus answered him, it has been said, you must not put the Lord your God to the test. Having exhausted all these ways of tempting him, the devil left him to return to an appointed time. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the biggest lies of the devil is that you would think that just because you were tempted, you are tempted, you have to give in to sin. It's okay to feel angry. It's okay to feel lustful. It's okay to feel upset. It's okay to feel these things, but these things come uh, because we're human beings. The problem is if we start entertaining these thoughts, if we hold on to these thoughts, or if we think, hey, just because I'm tempted in this way, therefore I have to give in to this sin. Don't underestimate the power you have to overcome temptation. Don't underestimate the power you have to be a saint. Because too often, all too often, we give in the minute the temptation begins. We've already resigned to our sin by the fact that we've been tempted. You are going to be tempted. I mean, the, the greatest saints in, in, the, in the world have been tempted. They're always tempted. But the thing is, just because you're tempted doesn't mean you have lost the fight. You're not defeated. In fact, what temptation does is it makes us stronger. When you're praying, God, give me patience, you think God's going to snap his finger and say, here, here you go, patience. No, he's going to tempt you, allow you, and this is why we say, allow us to fall, not to allow us to go into a place where we are tempted to lose our patience. Because the resistance that we have, the resistance that we receive, that tests our patience, that tempts our patience, that's what makes us stronger. Every time we're tested, we, it's an opportunity to become strong. Don't see temptation as an abandonment of God either. 
it's because God loves us that we are able to fight this. We're able to go through this because God knows that we are able to fight. The problem is so many people think that God has abandoned us through the temptation. It's the opposite. When you're tempted, the devil hates you. And God has given you the strength to overcome that temptation. But our brains are sometimes conditioned to think that, hey, I'm tempted, therefore I have to give in. That's a lie. That's a big, big lie of the devil. You are called to greatness, and part of becoming great is being able to face your temptation, to be able to struggle through that temptation, to become the best that you're called to be. And the only way you can become the best you're called to be is if temptation comes your way. But you can't do this without prayer. You can't do this without the food from heaven, the Eucharist. You can't do this without the community. We need each other. We need the bread of life. We need the Holy Spirit. And we need to be able to pray, to surrender to the Lord every day through prayer. What do they say? Seven days without prayer makes one week, W-E-A-K. <laughs> I don't want to spend time away from prayer. I want to be strong. I want to be able to overcome the temptation that comes my way to become the saint that God has promised and to give me the strength to be. As one family, let us now proclaim our faith in the Lord who loves us. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. And so now we bring our prayers to the Lord. What do you want to pray for? What do you want to ask the Lord? To take away your temptation or to give you the strength to fight that temptation? Let's bring our petitions to the Lord. Lord God, we thank you that you know our prayers, you know our struggles. God, we want to be temptation-free. That would be awesome, but Lord, temptation comes our way. Give us the strength through prayer, through the sacraments, through even almsgiving to find the strength to overcome this temptation. Lord, hear us. We pray for the church, for the world, for the, an end to this pandemic, for freedom. Lord, we thank you that you hear our prayer. Lord, hear us. So now in the silence of your own hearts or together with your families, just bring your prayers to the Lord. One of the greatest weapons that God has given us is the intercession of Mary, our mother. She fights for us every step of the way. So we'll pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <laughs>
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and it has become our spiritual. So pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Give us the right dispositions, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by abstaining 40 long days from earthly food, he consecrated through his fast the pattern of Lenten observance. And by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that celebrating worthily the Paschal Mysteries, we might pass over at last to eternal Paschal Feast. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke it then he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Shane, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. <laughs> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. On a hill far away, 
Stood an old rugged cross The emblem of suffering and shame And I love that old cross Where the dearest and best For a world of lost sinners were slain So I cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down And I will cling to the old rugged cross And exchange it someday cross so despised by the world has a wondrous attraction for me for the dear lamb of god left his glory above to bear it to talk calvary so i share Allow me, please, to pray for you in this moment, to ask God during this season of Lent to bless you, to give you the strength, supernatural strength you need to be the fighter, the warrior that God has called you to be and to overcome the temptation in your life. Lord God, I thank you for every person. I ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon every person here praying with me. Lord, let them be aware of your presence, of your love. Come, Holy Spirit. Lord, I'd like to pray for those who are feeling isolated and lonely, Lord. Give them your consolation, your embrace at this moment. Lord, I'd like to pray for those suffering from back pain, the someone with a spinal injury. You've been injured in your back, and the Lord is healing you through his miracle-working power. The Lord is healing you, and I thank you, Holy Spirit, for your, for your power. Lord, I'd like to pray for those, someone with an emphysema, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you're healing someone at this moment. Come, Holy Spirit, heal your people. Lord, those who are struggling with depression, loneliness, Lord, those who feel hopeless at this moment, and those stuck in addiction and have no way out of this addiction, and they've prayed and they've even given up on praying to fight this addiction. Father, I pray that these bones, these dry bones, may rise up in Jesus' name, and you set them free. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your love. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for the power that is in your name, your mighty name, Jesus. And together, let's pray the spiritual, a spiritual act of communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 
on behalf of FRG Ministry, thank you for praying with us. Thank you for joining us for this time of prayer. We're excited. This is a Lenten time, a time of opportunity. During the last week of Lent, we have a Holy Week retreat. So if you haven't been able to give time to the Lord, the Holy Week is your opportunity to dig deep. Myself and the um, Catholic Influencers team and the FRG Ministry team will be joining you for this time of prayer. It's free. Um, register now. We'll put the link below. Also, check out our online courses. We have a course on the kingdom of God that's new for teenagers. If you want your teenagers as well to grow in faith, give them this wonderful gift, even this Easter, of a subscription. There are courses for adults. There are courses for teens as well. Also, check out our podcast. We are excited this season seven. God is blessing us, and we're, we're, going, we're so excited about this season. So check that out as well. Also, support us if you can. This ministry runs by your generosity. We're here because of your generosity. So if you're able to donate, to give to this, to this ministry, if you have in any way been blessed, if God has blessed you through this ministry, we ask also that you prayerfully consider blessing this ministry and others. Just go to frgministry.com forward slash donate. Even better, if you're able to give every month and commit to that through a ministry partner, check out this link. We're going on pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Check that out as well. God is going to bless us as we go and seek the Lord in the place where he lived and walked. How awesome. Even the place where he had the temptations in the desert. We'll walk to the very same place on the very same footsteps as Jesus did. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly bread, by which we are nourished and hope is increased and charity is strengthened, we pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Take up thy cross and follow me. I heard my master say, I gave my life to ransom thee. Surrender. Peace. 
on behalf of FRG Ministry to our pilgrimage to the Holy Land. In the middle of October, we are going to head to Israel, to the Holy Land, to seek Jesus, the Jesus of history, to walk where he walked, where he talked, where he interacted with people. We're going to have time to pray, time to worship. We're going to have musicians there. We're going to have time to fall in love with Jesus. The spaces are limited and we invite you to register now. We look forward to seeing you and journeying with you in the footsteps of Jesus. Encounter by FRG Ministry presents our online subscription package. As a member, you will receive digital on-demand access to Encounter's growing library of online courses. Encounter and Encounter Youth online courses cover teaching, devotional and practical elements of the Catholic faith to help individuals, teachers, students and parishes across the world grow in their faith and understanding of the Catholic Church and their relationship with Jesus Christ. Current titles include Knowing Mary, School of Prayer, Introduction to the Bible, The Mass and more, with new courses being added regularly. All Encounter courses include high-definition videos with expert and engaging speakers, testimonies from everyday Catholics, and downloadable content including interactive PDF guides, prayer cards, and wallpapers. These courses are also accredited for professional development for Catholic education staff in Australia. All Encounter Youth courses include teaching videos, interactive student and teacher PDFs with lesson plans, and guided prayer and reflection. For more information about enrollment and subscription options, head to www.encountercourses.com slash subscription. Be sure to follow us on social media on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at Encounter Courses. Encounter Youth by FRG Ministry presents the Kingdom of God. Join Father Obgalia, Brendan Alliston and Clara Ravdanovich in this curriculum-based online course that explores what the Kingdom of God is and how we are called to bring about this Kingdom today by following the example of Jesus. Filled with an engaging visual narrative, high-definition teaching videos and interactive teacher and student PDFs complete with lesson plans, class activities and more, this course is an invaluable addition to your classroom or youth group. Get access to this course and our entire Encounter Courses library at encountercourses.com forward slash subscription.